Hey, welcome back to Big Bad Bard. Please enter the dungeon. Let's take out the robot. <laughs> we got some robot to to play as. Why not? I played as like I, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done the robot and like actually I'm not even gonna say tried because like I always try. I want to win, but like uh, I think had a good time is what I'm looking for. I, I don't normally uh, have a great time when I'm playing the robot. Like, I mean, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, that's not what I mean. Uh, I mean, like, I guess more of the robot doesn't have such a good time. It tends to, oh, you know, get hit a whole bunch, take lots of damage. And that's not the robot's fault so much as it's my fault, but... I mean... Maybe if you had a better health mechanic, just saying. I, I get it, it's like the gimmick of the character. I'm just, you know, I, I, I wish there was... A, uh, I'm still bitching about this, because I, I don't think I'm ever going to be done bitching about it. Okay, sure, that just didn't work. <laughs> my my uh, active item went off, but as you can see, the water went uh, nowhere. Um, yeah, I just wish there was a better mechanic for his health. Um, basically, like, you know, all the red hearts that go to waste, I wish I could do anything with them. That'd be cool. Just wait for these guys to come out a little bit. Oh, that was a tricky shot from the gun nut. I was expecting him to shoot more straight down than over to the side. Tricky guy. Tricky little bug. Pew, pew, pew. There we go. And just this path, yeah. Um, keys. I'm thinking I'm gonna use to the to go to the oubliette. Um, mostly because uh, if anyone benefits from junk, I'd say the robot does the most. Like he benefits the most from uh, breaking open chests. For example, that blue chest. Not super excited by it. I would love it if I got junk out of that. Okay, this is some awkward corner dodging, so... Let's just take care of that. Ooh, do the little back dodge. I'm so glad those aren't the electric bullets, or I would've gotten hit. Oh, god damn it! Dang it. Little cheater. Still looking for the shop, still looking for item room. Uh, that's gonna be the path to the oubliette. There's the other item room. Hmm. Oh, the shop is up here. I saw the red door and, and thought that was the, uh, the chest room. Because they usually have those. Uh, I knocked that grenade out of bounds. That's kind of interesting. Uh, not really out of bounds, just out of the room, I guess. Out of bounds would be like, you know, the other side of this wall. <laughs> that would really be out of bounds. I just knocked him out of the room. Right through that door. It's kind of strange. Okay. Although, really, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of speedruns lately. I've been watching um, all of the... SGDQ that happened a couple weeks ago, and ooh, um, I think I'm just gonna take the key. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching the SGDQ, um, which is Summer Games Done Quick. It's a speed running marathon, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. They do it two times a year, summer and winter. In winter, I think it's a uh, AGDQ or Awesome Games Done Quick. Alright, we don't have any secret rooms over there, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I've been watching a lot of those, and... <laughs> if, if you want to see some weird stuff in video games, check out some speedruns. That's all I have to say. Even, like, most glitchless speedruns are like, oh, that's... If it's not, you know, a glitch, like, very interesting movement techniques and shit. 
Um, bu -bu. okay. Um, but then some of them are just like, okay, this is just glitch after glitch after glitch. Nice. Yeah, it's it's crazy how many like uh, old Super Nintendo games are just so breakable. It's very very fun to to watch. Like games that maybe you spent your whole childhood failing to complete. These guys are just gonna rip it apart in like less than an hour. <clears throat> I'll tell you the one that really um really pulled me into it was a Diablo 2 speedrun that was like less than two hours long. I'm just like, how? How does that even make sense? Uh, no secret room. Hmm. Um, okay. Then we'll just go on down to the oubliette. Totally fine. But yeah, it was, uh... Diablo 2 speedrun, and I was like, okay, I don't understand how you can play through. I mean, just like the first difficulty, normal difficulty is what the run was. Um, but I'm still like, I don't understand how you can do that in a couple hours. And they do. It's all like figuring out map generation, and uh, there's like one part where you kind of grind, but that's about it. And it's to get some... Uh, specific rooms, if you remember in the Diablo 2 expansion, they added runes and rune words, and that's basically like the only time there's any grinding in that run, is you're looking for like one specific rune word, I think. I don't know, I'm not a speedrunner, it's been a long time even since I played Diablo 2 casually, so I don't remember exactly what, what it is, but... Uh, the runner was Mr. Llama SC, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And I know he's, uh, this was like a couple years ago that I first saw it, and I, I've, I, I, I always try to pay attention for when, uh, GDQ's coming up, but then I always seem to miss it by, like, two days. I'll see something on Reddit, or it'll pop up in my YouTube suggestions, like, oh, hey, you should check out this video from Games Done Quick that happened three days ago, and I'm like, god damn it, I wish I... <laughs> I had this written down somewhere, watch GDQ, and then just forgot. Um, but it's, I don't know, check out the, the old videos, they have all of their, um, all their past events on their YouTube channel, just look up Games Done Quick, and it'll take you right there. Um, yeah, it's very entertaining. They, it's a charity event for, um, I, I want to say usually Doctors Without Borders. Yeah, I'm going to take that for sure. Why wouldn't I? Uh, the key, I'm actually not going to take. Like I said, I'm okay with breaking some chests. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a charity event. They, I know they'd done it for Doctors Without Borders before. I feel like there was another one that was like, uh, Fight Against Cancer or something. Um... But yeah, it's, it's, you know, good charities, and the event is really fun, the runners are entertaining, and, um, they have all sorts of, like, prize giveaways if you donate. I don't know. It's, it looks like a really fun event to take part in. I'll, I'll just say that. Uh, everyone looks, you know, everyone's got, like, a really good attitude. Even sometimes the runs do not go as planned. Um, everyone always just, I, like I said, I've watched a lot of these videos. Um, it's just something that's kind of fascinating to me. Even games like I've never heard of, I'm like, oh, let me see what this is all about. Maybe that's a game that I, it looks like I would enjoy. So I'll watch, you know. And, and even then, like, the speedruns, most of them are 20 minutes or so, 20 to 30 minutes. It's like, yeah, I'll watch someone play Bonk's Revenge for 19 minutes beat the whole damn game. Never even heard of this game. Let alone the console it's on. Uh, no, I mean, I've heard of the TurboGrafx-16, but there are some that's like, oh, that's a really obscure console that no one's... I mean, to be fair, most people never heard of the TurboGrafx-16. 
Uh, is something that came out like in the early 90s? Late, I, I, I want to say like somewhere between 89 to like 92. 91, 92. Um. Yeah, one of the things they talked about was just the price point on it. It would be the equivalent of like a $500. Oh, no, no, no I'm sorry. It was a $500 console when it came out. So it would be the equivalent of like paying mm, $1,200 for, uh, you know, for like an Xbox or something. <laughs> no thanks. I mean, twelve for $1,200, if you're gaming, buy a computer. It's <laughs> like seriously, buy a computer. If you're gonna spend that much money, uh, like, for example, when I bought m my computer, I'm sorry, when I built my computer, um, I had a friend that <clears throat> was getting a new computer and uh, he wanted to play a lot of games with me, and I was like, right on, man, yeah, sure, I'll, you know, I'll get a new PC so we can play games together, um, and he spent. I want to say sixteen hundred dollars, and this was like six years ago, probably. Um, he spent like fifteen or sixteen hundred bucks, and I said, "Nope, I cannot spend that kind of money on a computer. No way, no way could I just drop, you know, well over a thousand dollars just to play some games." And so I said, "Hold up." Let me find, like, let me just build something comparable. Because he built his, uh, or he, sorry, he bought his pre-built. And that adds a whole lot to your build. If you don't, if, if you didn't know that, <laughs> you're paying, like, twice as much, three times as much than if you just bought the components and put them in there yourself. Um, so yeah, like I said, he dropped 1500 bucks on his, uh, I got basically the same stuff. Um, he, his was uh, like an Intel processor. I went with AMD. Um, but beyond that, like it's basically very comparable uh, in terms of you know CPU power, graphics power, memory, all of it. And I spent 500 on mine. <laughs> basically. Uh, at the time, it was like anything that was out that I wanted to play, I could play for 500 bucks, and he got the same deal for three times as much. And I said, "Dude, in the future, <laughs> in the future, come to me before you, <laughs> before you do this again." Um, blue chests not worth my one key. I know I could go buy a key, but no. I'll break these. That's fine. Okay. We got some more junk. Um, I'm thinking my key's actually gonna go up to unlock the old crest. I think I should do that, but I'm gonna wait until after the boss fight. For, uh, what I think is obvious boss reasons. Uh, meaning I'm likely to at least get hit once. Um, I guess I could speed this up maybe a little bit. Letting go with the machine pistol. Oh, God. Yep, see, there's my one hit. There it is. That was just some awkward bouncing from the, uh... Ooh, from the little jelly bullets. There we go. I'm safe. Machine pistol range is not that great. Okay. Good. We good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Blobby Lord, what do you know? Fight is pretty much always the same. Uh, well, I mean, you know, all these fights are always the same. But he is really all about this attack today. There are times where I've killed him before he's even done that attack, but nope, that's number three. 
Although there are times where he's done that attack like four times in a row, and I'm just like, dude, come on. Damn, I wish I hadn't taken that second hit. I wish I hadn't taken the first hit. <clears throat> Get the mahogany. Ooh, choke on some coffee. No secret room, huh? Is it on the shop? Uh, maybe. If it is, it's on the bottom of this. Nope. Not on the shop. Uh, where's the closest? Probably this one. Like, there's more rooms, but they're short rooms to get to. Or to get through, rather, to get up to this old crest. I think it is faster if I had gone to the other teleporter. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. Mahogany. It's fine. Like, it's not bad. Um, before I leave this room, though, let me check it real quick. No, still no secret room. Hmm. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one just off of a gun muncher, so, yeah. I don't know. Weird. Uh, let's go. What floor are we on? Oh, Gundrum proper. Right. I got the old crest. Gotta make it to the... To the little crypt. Also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I am kind of racking up money. Um, I'm definitely hoping to make a big deposit in that key fund. I would love it if that was in my cards. Uh, get out of here, little shotgun dude. Kill him before he... Nah. I was hoping I could kill him before he got even a shot off. That would have been nice. <clears throat> um, this one... I'm actually going to use Mahogany. Uh, I think one more. If I had gotten that last hit in there. Yup, there it is. These guys, four hits each. Oh, I was trying to dodge up. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Well, there goes the crest. Dang. That was a real poor showing. Uh, anyways, yeah, the key. Let's see how close I am. Hopefully there's nothing I'm like, Oh my god, I need to buy it. Uh, rolling eye is meh. It's not bad. Oh, I could very well possibly finish that this run. Huh. That would be cool. I don't think I'm gonna get another 60 by the end of the floor. Like, maybe? If I get, uh, one of those 50 pieces, then definitely, obviously. Like, it's a done deal. Oh, no you don't. I saw you jump over the there next to me. Uh-uh. No, 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 friend. Uh, let's see, I know that to go down there you need um, a key and two blanks. A key and two blanks. At least. That's what I know. Because you need a key to open the trapdoor. And then you need blanks to open the walls under the trapdoor. Alright, blue chest, I'm just gonna crack it open. There we go, we got some junk. What do you know? What would you expect? Secret room, oh, with mimics. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try to do this one at a time. If possible. Hey, come here. Yo, come here. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is fine. It's nice that they're giving me a bunch of items, but... I think I'd rather... Well, no, I can't say that. I'd rather just have the junk. <clears throat> That's not true at all. Um, I'd rather have Sir Junkin, maybe. That would definitely entice me to just break all the damn chests. Um, banana is fine. I actually kind of like that item. The charge-up time is the only thing that really kills me on it. 
Okay. Nice. Oh, table tech rocket. All right. I like that. Cool. That was a pretty good item room. Be nice to maybe come out of that with a little more money, but eh, whatever. I guess mimics don't drop cash. Yeah, I thought they did. Or I thought they could at least. Okay, boss room. Uh, I would like to find the the other item room, though. Well, let's be real, I'd like to full clear the whole floor, get as much cash as possible, put it towards the... I think it's the Nod key. G-N-A-W. Gnaw. There we go. Um, last... Last little wing of the floor over here, I would guess. With any luck, it'll... Yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> That's actually what I was going to say, is with any luck, it will um, be an item room. Like, I know it's the item room, but I need it to be the item room with, like, a loop attached to it, basically. So this... Uh, you know, this room, the item room is above it. The path we have to go to it is below it. And then it's going to have to loop back around. This just guarantees a couple more rooms. And that gives us just a little bit more chance for more money. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That bat, like, died right in front of my face. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Long hallway takes up a room. That sucks. And then I'm guessing the crust room is going to be above this? Yeah. Oh, actually, there's something else above this. A shop. Um, yeah, I don't want any of that. And then this is the, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want any of that. Let's come in here. Let's drop all this. How much more do we need? 27. Come on, boss. You can drop 27 for me. Uh, I'm going to do Skull Splitter and maybe Mahogany. I might switch that up to the Machine Pistol. Ah, come on. Alright, this attack. I, I always like to try to stay in close before the bullets really start splitting apart. Okay, nice. Because if the bullets are splitting apart right next to you... <laughs> yikes. Uh, I, I, that was actually not a good cycle of that, I would say. Um, but if the bullets are splitting apart right next to you... I, I gotta blank that. Nope. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, then they could just, like, split apart right next to you. Cause you the flawless because you don't have anywhere to really dodge to. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Skull Splitter made it a lot better. Um, what was that? I'm sorry, maybe if I just waited a second it would tell me. Here, let me drop that again. Oh, it goes with Amulet of the Pit Lord somehow. Let's pick that up again. On my side, and then the synergy is called Bluer Guanstone. Hmm. So what does the blue guanstone do exactly? Slows time upon receiving damage. So I'm guessing it slows time even more when you receive damage. Also, I got 22 from the boss. God damn it. I needed 27. <sighs> I am five off from that. That is so obnoxious. And there's nothing else on the floor that we can do. Just got to move along. Dang, so close. So damn close. You know what I think would be a good idea for the robot? Is, um... Like, okay, so the master rounds are not that meaningful. Other than, like, you didn't take damage, so that's super meaningful. <laughs> um, and I think they give you one armor. 
Uh, oh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to play with the minecart. I really don't. Um, but anyways, I think they give you one armor. But what I think would be nice is if for the robot, that master round, like, maybe not a heart container, but maybe something like, uh, I don't know, like an ability to convert red hearts into armor, even if it's, like, something way imbalanced, like, two full red hearts for one armor or something, which is kind of backwards, where it should be two armor for one red heart. But even if it was kind of backwards like that, and I'd say that's even in balance, that's still pretty strong for the robot. It's a huge buff, for sure. Um, but something along those lines would just really make the character kind of pop, you know? I uh, don't want to do that. And maybe that they're just intent maybe their intention is just like, hey, let's have this real hard character to deal with. I mean it's I don't know, there's a comparison in Isaac, but it's not really that big of a comparison because health in Binding of Isaac is not all that meaningful. <laughs> like once you've done the lost, <laughs> you realize like taking damage isn't a necessity. Like, once you've beaten, you know, say, Mega Satan with the Lost, or, uh, Delirium, it's like, okay, this game is nothing anymore. <laughs> Health means nothing in this world. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Give me something. Give me armor. Give me a key. Give me junk. I'll take junk. We'll blow up chests for junk. I would love a uh, a guanstone shrine right now. The the glass shrine, I guess it's called. Gives you three white guanstones. That'd be amazing. I would love that. Let me tell you. Just have a little mini force field going on. You know what? You give me that, I will buy any guanstone from the shop. <laughs> Because sometimes they've got, like, one or two white ones for sale uh, on the same table as blanks. And that would be... I don't know, if they had two, I'd, I'd buy those. Oh, I had no money. Right. I gave all my money to the, sh uh, to the shopkeeper on the last floor. Got a Gunsling King challenge. What's through here? Without dodge rolling for 21. Okay, I can come back with 21. That's not too much. Without dodge rolling, though, that could be hard. I'll have to use... Oh, yeah, here we go. Give me that. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. I hate that item. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why they gotta get me the hot watch? I just want to play normally. <laughs> uh, I swear, like, every black chest I get, it's the fucking super hot watch. <sighs> like, some people complain about getting Heart of Ice from, uh, from those chests. I, I complain about Super Hot Watch. Heart of Ice, like, yeah, it's, uh... Well, actually, for the robot, it'd be pretty terrible. Except for the ice effect, I guess, but that's only when you take damage, so... Not super... Helpful. Um, because you'd never want the effect to go off, because you never want to take damage. You get... Okay. Kill these fools. Uh, almost have enough? Oh no, I do have enough for the Gunsling King. Let's go check him out. Uh, I could make that jump, but meh. I'll just take the long way. It's fine. Okay. Yes, I will. Hold on, I'm cho <coughs> choking on coffee. Okay. Whew. That was a little rough. Alright, so without dodge rolling, this shouldn't be too terrible. Um, I see 
some enemies that could be problematic. Okay, I'm fine. I got this. That wasn't shit. I like the Guanstone. That's what I was asking for. Okay, what do you got? What do I get for this? Uh, the M1911 is just fine. I will gladly accept. Alright, where's my shop, and why does it not have a cell creep? Because I, I already know. Like, I already know. Don't even need to play around with me. Like, I already know it's not going to have a cell creep, because I have an item I would love to get rid of. Oh, come on. That should have hit the shotgun. I know it. You know it. The shotgun dude knows it. He should have been toast. Oh, there is a white guanstone and a... Hippo bullets. Hungry bullets. Wasn't that already a thing? Oh no, it was like angry bullets, hungry for more, I think was the, the little tag item. Or the little, like, flavor text on it. Oh! Ha ha! About damn time. Hold up. There we go. Money, money, money! I was like, he only gave me five? I didn't see the 51. Okay. Uh, what else could I possibly get rid of? Like the Gungeon Pepper. Probably don't need. Um, yeah, that was one I picked up from a Mimic. I can get rid of that. Not quite enough for the Hungry Bullets. 126. Is there a gun I'd like to get rid of? Not really. Not really. Not yet. Maybe the boss will drop something. I don't know. Uh, I like Skull Splitter to deal with the boss. That's. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of cycling through my guns. I don't know why. I want Robot's right hand, basically. How have I not seen any shrines? This is something that just baffles me some runs. It's like. I'm three floors in, went to a fourth floor, and zero shrines so far. Full cleared everything. Okay. Treadnought should not be a big deal. Especially with four Guan Stones. Haha. -ha. Ooh. Actually, that explosion almost got me. I do have two blanks. Quite good. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Blank there. I was in a bad spot, let's be real. That's all that was. I feel slow. But I think maybe that's just because sometimes I come into this fight with, uh, with a speed upgrade and just run circles around this guy. And I always prefer to have a speed upgrade when fighting Treadnought. You know, ballistic boots or, uh, ooh, get out of there. Ballistic boots or, like, shotgun cola or the coffee one or, oh, uh, you know, any of that. <laughs> I know there's other speed items, I just can't think of them. Is that the, no, I thought it was the jolter. Icebreaker's fine, it's not bad. 111, okay, so I'm definitely gonna sell something to get those hungry bullets. What will I sell? Maybe the banana. I'm probably going to use that the least. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Nice. Give me that. Give me that. Lock and load, right? So let's see what hungry bullets does. Uh, some bullets gain the ability to cannibalize. The magic of the Gungeon brings sentience to these just-fired bullets, and they resort to their most basic instinct to feed. I'll admit, I'm not really, really sure what that means. Um, yeah, I don't know. I never found the secret room, but at this point there's no point in looking, because I used up all my blanks, and I don't have any money. 
just fucked up my desk a little bit. Whoops. There was like some tape on it and I ripped the tape off and it took off some of the paint. It's a shitty desk. But still. I like to keep my things nice, you know? Oh, I have the machine pistol out. I really thought I was rocking the robot's right hand. Are we done here? Yes. Alright, so I know I saw one of the hungry bullets go out. But I, I didn't really see what it did, I'll admit. Oh, that was just bad dodge timing on my part. Oh, so bad. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Woo. We good. So is it those, like, random purplish bullets that are shooting out? I just don't see it doing anything. That's the only thing. I'm, I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. Hmm. Alright. Just, uh... Just gotta get through all these guys. I'm so glad I was able to get rid of Super Hot Watch. That would have driven me crazy for, the like, the whole rest of this run. It, it does every time. I think that's the first time that I've actually been able to get rid of it, too. Without just dropping it being like, screw this, I'm done. Because I always hold out hope that I'll run into a cell creep in the shop. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because I'd like to get some money for it. Ugh. So shame. So much shame. Taking all those hits. I was doing so well for a second there. Um, yeah, the big dude kind of needs to to die. Um, actually, there we go. That might kill the dude that's in the back of this room. It did not. That did, though. There we go. I'm a little disappointed in my table-type rocket. And that one. God damn it. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Oh! He's got tricks, this guy. This guy swinging his chain, he's got tricks. Oh my god, I can't... I can't get any rocket shots off. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to use my items, use my passives. Because my active is... Mm, kinda garbage. No sense in using that too much. Hmm. This ghost is getting on my nerves. Still not done? There we go. I was one... I, I, I'll i admit, I didn't count the shots, but like I kind of knew about how close I was to killing that dude. Uh, I guess I was off by one. Come on. There we go. I'm not getting one more shot on the spider there. Um, I'll do this. Sure. Sure. It's unlikely I'll have two chests that I really want to open. And if I do, I guess I could buy a key from the shop, probably. In the hollow. For a second I wasn't sure, or I kind of forgot if this was the fourth floor or the fifth floor. When you start doing, like, the Oubliette and the Abbey of the True Gun, like, I don't know, at least for me, I always kind of forget where, I, where I'm at. Like, I, it just messes up my counting of, like, I'm sorry, how many floors have I done? Where am I at in terms of this run right now? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I can just check. I can just hit the map button. It's right there at the top. No shambling rounds. So disappointing. I just realized that. Oh, <sighs> stupid skeleton, you bastard. Oh, that's what hungry bullets do. Okay, I get it. I see now. I see. So, what they do is they eat enemy bullets that are on screen. Or, like, that they go through, basically. So, like, I'm shooting out, and occasionally you'll see a bullet that one of mine goes through uh, disappear. That's what it's doing. 
That's what it means by it, it cannibalizes bullets. It eats other enemy bullets. I thought it meant, like, it eats bulletkin. Unless I'm wrong and those shots are just being blocked by the Glonstone. Like, that's possible, I guess? Why not? It's just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. What would be in this locked room up here? Oh, it's a shrine. Hmm. I'm probably gonna open that door. I would like to see what the item rooms have in store for me, though. I'm gonna go this way first. Um, just because there's so many paths off that other room. I'll just take this way. Oh, come on, you stupid little red mage. Get out of here. With your nonsense. Your bullet-catching nonsense. Okay, blue chest gets blowed up. Sidewalls get shot up. Okay. So it's got to be this path over here. I would guess. I mean, it's possible that it's like this one and it goes down, like, all the way around. Um, possible, not likely, though. Like, not at all likely. Alright, one Spidey down. Working on Spidey numbered dose. Oh, I'm on fire. Even though I'm metal. Okay. steam right there for a second, like, just kind of in my brain, kind of zoned out, and just trying to focus on the game. Sorry about that. Sorry for the the dead air. It's not even dead air, really. There's stuff going on. What are you doing listening to me for, anyways? Pay attention to the damn game. Come here, Skelly. You little... Hey, look, we're, like, kind of twinsies. Except he's gold and I'm... You know, I was gonna say silver. I'm gonna say platinum. The platinum bot. There we go. Is that lined up? Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been trying to do with these tables. Shit like that. Launch it across the room at a motherfucker. Go boom! Another blue chest. <laughs> the story of the robot's life. Okay. Sure. Or at least definitely the story of this run is just like blue chest after blue chest. The one chest I did want to open. It was like a... What I consider not a great item. The one like really good chest. Could have had anything in it. It had one of my least favorite passives. Ugh, those spidey webs. Rough. Yeah, I want that. Fuck one, I need that. Gun Knight Greaves, like, I need three more money, dude, apparently. Oh, I was worried about falling into the pit, and then I remembered, no need to. I've got Amulet of the Pit Lord. That's right. Oh, okay, completed map. We got Demon Head. Okay. Uh, where's the boss fight? So, like, Gun Knight Greaves not even going to be that great at this point? Ooh, this is pretty decent. Um, mostly because piercing shots on multiple enemies. Yeah, let's get some value. That's what I'm talking about. Although the damage is a little bit lacking. I think it's alright. Whew. Would love to keep these Glonstones going, too. That'll just help me out. Well, I mean, if I get hit, I guess it doesn't even matter. The Glonstones are gonna fuck off anyways. Yep, there they go. Damn. Oh, nice. The bullets are, like, mistimed. That's cool. That's real cool. They're just out of cycle. 
because that happens sometimes. <laughs> I've seen it before, it just... It's not normal, so it catches me off guard. Oh, you know, every time it happens. Alright, there's two of them down. Nice. There's three of them, four of them down. Nice, and we skipped that last cycle. That's always cool. I like that at least the bosses have been giving me... Shield Breaker. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. It takes away the charge shot. Wait, what's that at the bottom of the clip, though? Oh, just two big blasts. Right on. And I got just enough money for Gun Knight Greaves, which is basically just going to act as a couple of armor. So it's going to be, what, like three armor? I got two for picking it up and then one for this next floor. Which, three armor for 68? Not bad. That's about even. It's like 23, not quite 23, um, but close enough per armor. And then, I mean, assuming we make it down to bullet hell or something, we got that. That'd be four armor. I'm not, I'm not really feeling this. How many junk do I have? Four? That's quite a few. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Scary bullets. Why are you so scary? I think now's as good a time as any to start using up my... Okay? I'm sorry, what? I was gonna say to start using up my other gun, so I'm not just using... Uh, robot's right hand. Um, I'm real confused why the hammer started coming at me, like, halfway through the room. That's mean, and not very fair. Especially to not introduce that mechanic to me until, uh, you know, a couple how hun uh, couple hundred hours in. Although, you know, there's, like, still chest types that I've yet to see, so... There's that. Who knows? And and what's crazy is there are people that post on Reddit like, Oh yeah, I found this weird looking chest, I have no idea what it is, or like, you know, whatever. Um, this is my sixth run ever, and I found this thing. And it's a glitch chest, which uh, takes you to... I, I've never gotten one, but I've seen posts. I've, I've seen, like, you know, screenshots and discussion posts talking about it. And it's, uh, it's a glitch chest, which takes you to, ooh, like a glitched fight with two beholsters. Let me just kind of run around a little bit, check this floor out. Um, there we go. Still didn't blow him up, or like kill him, I guess. All right, that was unnecessary. Um, but yeah, and then if you manage to kill the beholsters, you get like a whole bunch of items and shit. Uh, I have never seen one. <laughs> There's also a rainbow chest that supposedly exists according to the internet that I have never seen one. Uh, it gives you like a bunch of items. I would love to see these items, or these chests. Apparently they are super, super, super rare. I'm just like, what's the, what's the point of that? In there, like, why make it like a 0.01% spawn chance? What is the point? How is anyone supposed to ever find it? And not even find it, but like, just luck out and get the RNG for it. That's really what it is, like, what it comes down to. Okay. I'm taking this a little slow just because of the cross shots from those shotguns were a little awkward, and I'm one hit from death, so, you know. Almost out of ammo for this alien blaster, which, that's fine. Uh, will it kill the gun nut? Oh, no, it will not, because there was another dude behind it. Okay. Oh, God. 
I just about ate it there. Get wrecked. Okay. And continue getting wrecked. Let's see what this chest is. Probably gonna break it. It's a blue chest. What do you know? Who to thunk? I'll take decoy. Oh, what does this synergize with? Mahogany for hard wood. I wonder if mahogany gets a different firing mode? No? Oh, but it shoots out like a whole bunch of little grenade pine cones. That's cool. Let me use this for a second. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. It's like the. Oh, I think the leaves were replaced with more explosive pine cones. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Guanstone, I think. Whatever blocked that bullet. Like, right as I landed on the platform. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever that was. Uh, at least de with decoy, I can steal something from the shop. Oh. Uh, I guess there was a bullet that I must have walked right into. That sucks. Uh, wow. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you get the heads up whenever I post new videos. And then, um, you know, just come on back, check out another video. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.